So I think it's time we get rid of that stock plastic bumper from the back of the giveaway gladiator. Stay tuned. Welcome back Northridge Nation to the giveaway gladiator build series and yes we are finally getting rid of that stock plastic, I should say that wimpy stock plastic rear bumper on the giveaway gladiator and we're replacing it with this. A Crusher series rear bumper for the Gladiator from Motobuilt. Now Motobuilt has been building parts for the off-road market from mild to wild for quite a few years now, but they're one of those companies that has some great history. Founder Dan DuBose started a company called Blue Torch Fab back in the early rock crawling days and they became wildly successful building hardcore off-road parts. He then sold that company and within a couple years missed the off-road market so much that he started Motobuilt. And hey, this is a result. Some really cool hardcore products for your Jeep. Yet, this is a full bolt-on and it's easy to install and an easy way to get some hardcore protection onto your Jeep Gladiator and also your JL if you happen to have one of those. So with that kind of history in mind, we are so excited to have Motobuilt partnering with us on the Giveaway Gladiator build series. Let's take a closer look at this bumper. So the Motobuilt rear bumper have provisions for the OE park sensors if your Jeep is so equipped. But if your Jeep is not equipped with the park sensors, they also include these cool little block off tabs that come in from the back side and bolt in place. The Crusher Series rear bumper does have these access ports to where we can put some off-road lights or backup lights in here and they have these nifty little guards to protect them from off-road debris. Now one thing I do need to note is that the Motobuilt bumpers come uh, bare. They're not painted, they're not powder coated. So we dropped these off at our local powder coaters and they did them in a 60% gloss black and then on the rear bumper, where we have these nice little guards and accent pieces, we had those powder coated a gunmetal gray, basically. And it came out really nice. We're pretty happy with it. But do keep in mind that if you're ordering Motobuilt armor, it is going to come bare. So, of course, our first step is to get the factory bumper out of the way. Start by removing the license plate. With the license plate out of the way, we can access these two bolts right here. They are 16 millimeter and remove them. So then up underneath the bumper, reach up and remove the trailer plug. And then use a screwdriver and push the tabs in on either side of the trailer plug. Whoa, and there goes the trailer plug. Then we need to remove all the little clips holding the wiring in place. All right, and then reach up and remove the license plate light plug. There's just a little tab on the side. You squeeze in and the plug comes out. On the outside of the frame, you have two 16 millimeter nuts on both sides. Now, now, if you have the optional rear rock rails that go right in here, you're going to just remove the rock rails, but leave the mounting bracket in place. So now we can reach up, grab the bumper and pull it off. Looks like I forgot the license plate light on the other side. So if you have the factory tow hooks, we do need to remove those at this time. It takes a 21 mil socket. Now earlier I did say it's a bolt on, but we do have to do a little trimming. There's a bracket right here above the receiver hitch that we'll need to trim off and we need to trim it off. There's a little bend right here and we're gonna wanna trim it right at that bend or just past it. Now you could use, you could use a sawzall with a metal cutting blade, a hacksaw. Uh, we're going to use a cutoff wheel on a four inch grinder. And yeah, make sure you have your safety gear. Now 
Now, if you do have the optional park sensors in your factory bumper, you can use these brackets that are included with the motor built bumper to mount those park sensors in the new Crusher Series rear bumper. This is a license plate light by ORO. And the Moto Built bumper has a slot for the plug. And then is installed right through the license plate bolt holes. Now aligning everything, this light bracket and this bracket on the back to hold the wiring harness can get a little fun. So grab yourself some 3M double-sided tape. And we can apply right to the back of this bracket. Then use a couple bolts to kind of help guide it into place. And use that double-sided tape to stick it on. And then we'll do the same with this ORO, ORO bracket. Definitely try to get that as square and as level as you can. Now we're ready to put that license plate back into place. So now we can snap that trailer plug in. And so in goes the trailer plug, and now the bumper is ready to hang on the Gladiator. Now if your Gladiator didn't have the factory uh, rock rails back here, you want to make sure that you get the Moto Built side brackets. And it is a separate part. And we're going to slip it up into place and bolt it onto the frame rail, and then the Moto Built bumper will bolt right in here. And if you have the factory rock rails, no problem. Once you remove the rock rails, you have this pretty much the same face right here to bolt to. Now we are gonna put Loctite on the bolts, but we're not gonna tighten everything up yet because we wanna get that rear bumper up into place and all the hardware, get everything adjusted before we start tightening the bolts. And that includes the ones on this Moto Built bracket. Moto Built does include these stiffening brackets and they go right up, the top holes go right in where the tow hook was and the side holes go right into the back of the frame support. Now we're finally ready to put that bumper in place. You got to get up into the nuts all the way at the back of the bumper and a really long extension is helpful to get past the uh, side brackets. Now we need to bolt the side brackets and the bumper together. So now before we final tighten, we wanna go through and just double check the bumper, make sure it is level and everything's lined up and then we can tighten all the bolts. Don't forget the uh, inner brackets or the side brackets up at the frame. Okay, so we're gonna clip all these little push pins off of the factory wire and harness. Make sure to reach up behind your trailer plug and snap out the little retaining clips. And then you can plug your trailer wiring harness back in. For your license plate harness, we can run it across and zip tie in using these little brackets. And then we'll end up clipping this plug off and wiring into the ORO wiring harness. So the boss had us put one of these Putco blades on his Gladiator a few months back. And he liked it so much he really wanted to put one on the giveaway Gladiator. 
So the Putco Blade is basically a three function light bar that goes right down on the back of the bed underneath the tailgate. And it's gonna give you a fourth brake light, a left and right hand turn signal, to get that right, left and right hand turn signal. And it's gonna give you a backup light and they're really easy to install. Uh, we've already done a video on that, so you can find a link down below in the description box to where you can find the how-to on this light bar. But hey, at least we're gonna give you some highlights of it going on the Giveaway Gladiator. So there it is, the Crusher Series rear bumper from Motobuilt on the Giveaway Gladiator. That's a sharp looking bumper. It's very heavy duty built. It comes complete with dual recovery points. It has these nice serrated edges to give you traction as you're climbing up the bumper. It also takes, uh, gives you provisions for the factory trailer plug and also works perfectly with the factory trailer hitch. We think it's a really heavy duty unit. It looks great. We can't wait to get it out on the trail and show you it in action. But I gotta ask you, what do you think? Would you like to have a Motobuilt Crusher Series rear bumper on your Jeep? Well, you can find a link to the Motobuilt Series bumpers on the Northridge 4x4 down in the description box. And then who noticed as I was backing up the red light from underneath the tailgate. That's that Putco blade that we also carry here at Northridge 4x4 and it's a great addition to any 4x4. While you're down there, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button because the more subscribers we get, the more content we can bring you. So until next time, thanks Northridge Nation. Uh oh. <laughs> Whatever that was, I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> okay, your trailer plug goes right back into place. <laughs>